Well, go ahead, guys. All right, well, most, most time, Christ, all right? So, first of all, we're going to talk about um, hell. I am tired. So you know what people are say hell is? The, what yeah. the, the, the place burning on the underground, you know what I mean? The devil in the pitchfork. Right. So people are yeah. say um, hell is some man underground with, with a big pitchfork and he just choke you and fire does burn you. Right? I mean, that, that is just basically fairy tales. Right? And of course, it's the church is what has pushed that. But that is not what hell is. Right. Hell is right here on earth. Right. You understand? Shadow sing it best. Poverty is hell. Right. Shadow knew what was hell. You understand? There's a lot of people who just commit suicide. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, well, Christianity is in the air. Everywhere you go is Christianity. If you turn on the radio, you turn on the TV, you're walking on the streets, is Christianity you just see. So everybody knows if you commit suicide, you will die. Right? And you will go into this place called hell. You understand? So then why it is people are still commit suicide? You know why people are still commit suicide? It's because the condition that people living on the earth right now, it worse than getting burned in fire. So people rather commit suicide and go into this mysterious place underground and get burned in fire. Because they say, now nah, boy, the, this poverty that I live in here, it, it, nah, I, I rather take get burned in fire. That's what people are saying. But today we're going to explain to her that hell is right here on earth. You right. understand? It's not this magical place on the ground where fathers burn you. You understand? And you have to understand that hell started from a poem called Dante's Inferno. You understand? Dante's Inferno. This man called Dante's Inferno, um, I think it was in the 1300s, he created this poem. And when after he created this poem, he, he um, showed it to um, St. Thomas Aquinas. In the Catholic Church, the Catholic priest who was St. Thomas Aquinas at that time, he loved the idea of this concept of hell from this poem that was written by Dante. And he ran through that through the whole Catholic Church that hell is this place on the ground where fathers burn you. Right? But that is not hell. So give me the first scripture, Deuteronomy. Yes, sir. The first, mm -hmm. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 22. For a fire is kindled in my anger. Right, for a fire is kindled in my anger. This is the Lord speaking here right now. Go ahead. And shall burn unto the lowest hell. And shall burn unto the lowest hell. Go ahead. And shall consume the earth with her increase. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And set on fire the foundations of the mountains. Mm -hmm. And set on fire the foundations of the mountains. So what are you trying to say? Hell on the ground where fathers burn. You have mountains? Mm. <laughs> you understand? Nah, hell is right here on earth. When the Lord said, I'm reading it over again. In the book. Deuteronomy 20, 23, 22. Mm -hmm. 22, 20, 23, uh, 22, right? Mm -hmm. For a fire is kindled in my anger. For a fire is kindled in my anger. The Lord is so angry, he, he is describing his anger as fire. Right. Word. And shall burn unto the lowest hell. And shall burn unto the lowest hell. So he's, he's saying he's so angry, it's like fire. But he did, he's calling the fire as hell. So he's trying to say, my anger, it's so bad. It's so, I'm so angry, it's like hell. You understand? That's how he's trying to describe it. Mm -hmm. he, I, I can remember when I was, um, you know, big up to um, Chumaka Glavantil. You know, I was born in, in uh, one angry is in Chumaka Glavantil. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, the, this sister, she was so angry with his brother. She said, hey, you want to see fire come through my eyes or what? No, mm -hmm. everybody know that, I mean, fire can't come through somebody's eyes. But she was so angry. She was trying to say, fire could come through my eyes. Mm -hmm. Fuss I angry. You understand? And this is what we just read here. The Lord was describing how angry he was, which was the fire. He said that anger is like hell. Mm -hmm. It is a condition. Hell is just a condition. The Lord said, I'm so angry, I'm going to put you in a bad condition, mm -hmm. which is hell. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know yeah, go ahead as well. Yeah, if I may, right? Because uh, that's how black people just talk, you know what I mean? Like, you're more, you're more playing, you know what I mean? Under the ground or something, or, you know? Yeah. It's like, I want to, uh, you know, like the, the most the most destructive thing the Lord telling you he could do is that exactly what he's telling you he'll do. That's like a parent threatening a child to do behave yourself. Yeah, that is itself. You understand? Know I mean, look at number one people who fill up the um, prison system is who? Black people. The number one people that have um, diabetes, mm -hmm. or cancer. You understand? Know um, black people. Mm -hmm. just, just look at the ratio. You know, the number one people in poverty is black people. Mm -hmm. We in hell. 
hell is a condition again shadow sing it good poverty is hell poverty is, uh, is a bad condition just as heaven heaven right here on the earth is a good condition mm -hmm. who runs the earth today the so-called white man you, your oppressor mm -hmm. runs the earth today right you understand who who runs um who runs Trinidad? right you understand? I'm the one percent right you understand? they actually come out and boast Mm -hmm. Yes, and say they're the most powerful in Trinidad. They run in Trinidad, the one percent. Mm -hmm. Them in heaven, them control in Trinidad. Well, the white man he controls the planet Earth. The white man is in heaven. Heaven is a condition on Earth. He had the Lamborghini and the Mercedes Benz. Mm -hmm. He controls the oil and gas. Mm -hmm. He controls um what he could say and what he, what he could teach in the school system mm -hmm. the white man controls everything because he's in heaven he controls this planet earth we black people who do have nothing we in hell correct let's not give me isaiah 5, five and four. 13. Mm -hmm. isaiah chapter 5 verse 13. therefore my people are gone into captivity mm -hmm. because they have no knowledge mm -hmm. and the honorable men are famished are famished so like here. Mm -hmm. And their multitude dried up with thirst. Right, right. Verse 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. Right, therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. You understand? So the prophet Isaiah is just trying to say here is captivity is hell. You understand? Slavery is hell. We in captivity right now, um, black man and black woman, whether you believe, you believe it or not, whether you're rich or not, you are in captivity. You do not run this earth. Mm -hmm. Black people was made to run the planet Earth, and because we not, you know why we not running the planet Earth because we sinned against the Lord. Mm -hmm. So now the Lord have us in hell. Mm -hmm. We don't run the Earth. We, I mean, look at um Whitney Houston. She she was she died of an overdose. Right. She have all the money, mm -hmm. and she died of an overdose. You can imagine you have millions of dollars in the bank, mm -hmm. and because you 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 sinning against the Lord, you you smoke drugs and you die of an overdose. Come mm -hmm. on, man. Mm. You and hell, um, black man. Right. Yeah, so that, that is why in Revelation with the mark of the beast, it said that we was cut off for everything. Mm -hmm. Black people is the only race that has no nation to do trade, to mm -hmm. buy and sell with other countries. Right. The Africans could buy and sell with other countries. The mm -hmm. Chinese could sell mm -hmm. and buy and sell with other countries. The East Indians could um, do trade mm -hmm. with other countries, but mm -hmm. we black people who came off them sh slave ships right we have no nation of our own so we is the only race who that cannot buy and sell because we are in captivity mm -hmm. we in hell right. hell is a bad condition and that is why we filling up the prison system whether we innocent or guilty mm -hmm. they're just throwing us in prison right whether we innocent or guilty because right. we in hell that's well, like it's only big mm -hmm. heavy every point there because with a nation also come protection yeah so if you have some that you belong to not colored and your name changing every 10 years colored african american african and daddy and all of that you know you have some respect to it and then you can do it what you want mm -hmm. i mean you just now say something there which is if you're guilty or you're innocent they're still putting you in jail because nobody going to defend your cause yeah that is it give me a second peter come on come yes, because sir. second peter chapter 1 verse 16 right mm -hmm. all right for we for we have not followed cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right, the, um, the, the devised fables. Uh, that, okay, what the scripture is trying to say is don't believe in fairy tales like those Christians do and mm -hmm. say that hell is a place underground and some big red man with a pitchfork will choke you mm -hmm. and fire will burn you. Right. Black man and black woman, hell is right here on earth and you in hell. We mm -hmm. in hell as black people in hell. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care how much education you have. You mm -hmm. in hell. Once your people suffering, you in hell. Because the Lord doesn't praise or, or bless one person. The Lord does bless a nation. That's right. And let me see about 10 black people in China. There you go further. 100 black people in China are rich. Right. The Lord don't watch those 100 black people that are rich. The Lord does watch the nation. Mm -hmm. Once your nation could come out of poverty black man you will not be in hell anymore that's right because even though you're rich you're still not running that that's right yes and it's plenty rich rich black people in Trinidad, but others mm -hmm. still not running Trinidad that's because it. all in hell and the other races is over all of them in heaven mm -hmm. you understand right. you have to go to them in the bank for alone mm -hmm. sub guy ain't coming for you as a black man for alone right. we had to go for sub guy for alone mm -hmm. you understand 
And that is one of the curses in the Bible that the Lord put us under because we sinned against him. Mm -hmm. We go always have to go to the mother race for loans because we in hell. But there's a way to come out of hell. Oh. Just come in the school and we'll teach you how to learn. Keep the laws of the Bible. Right. You understand? It, it's very easy. Give me the Matthew 10, 28. Yeah. For so, sure. Uh, I in the book. The book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. Right. Fear not them which kill the body, um, but cannot kill the soul. So we're going into reincarnation here now. I'm continue. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. But rather fear him which is able to destroy both both soul and body in hell right but fear him that can kill both the body and soul in hell or put them in hell in hell in hell mm -hmm. now we all know that when you die you, your spirit does leave you right your spirit does leave you when you die your body does decay right where, where your spirit does go i don't know what question what question does your spirit does go i'm the, the same place purgatory <laughs> in purgatory <laughs> But when you die, mm -hmm. your spirit does come right back on the earth. Right. Right? So don't fear the person who could kill, destroy your body. Mm -hmm. Because your spirit will always be here. Right. And that's why the Lord said he's not a um he's not a, a Lord of the, the dead, but a Lord of the um the living. Right. You understand? Because Abraham is right here on the earth right now, walking up and down. John the Baptist is on the earth right now, walking up and down. Mm -hmm. Because reincarnation exists. Now, the, the Lord is the only one who can kill both your body and soul and put you in hell. Mm -hmm. Hell is this condition that we're living in right here now. Right. The Lord said in the Bible, he created the dumb, the blind, and the deaf. You know why the Lord created those dumb and blind and deaf? Because according to how you was in your past life, mm -hmm. when you come back on the earth, the Lord is going to punish you. Mm -hmm. Punishment, one of the punishments is being born um blind dumb deaf retarded um wagging you're born with some sickness mm -hmm. you're born with cancer you're born with um, mm -hmm. um diabetes high blood, high blood pressure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you understand that, that, that is you're born a crack baby right you understand that that you, you you're born in um what the children's home mm -hmm. our mom make a child she treat we and they end up in the children's home mm -hmm. and they know the kind of sharpness what is going in the children's home right in trinidad especially you understand that is hell that the lord put in you through because mm -hmm. of the sins of either your parents mm -hmm. or because of the sins what you did in your past life. That's right. All right, so let me go into the reincarnation now. Mm -hmm. All right. Matthew. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. Now, what we're going in here now is to show that, that Jesus Christ was here on the earth already. Too. Go ahead. Right. Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ. Mm. The generation of Jesus Christ. When I say the generation of Jesus Christ, mm. you understand? It, okay, the generations... If I have a generation, that means it's my offspring. Right. I have a child, you know, my child have a child, and my offspring. Mm -hmm. But when you read the Bible, Christ didn't have no children. Mm. Christ didn't even have a woman. Right. So why did it say the generation of Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. It is because of reincarnation. Jesus Christ was here already on the earth. And right. Go ahead, continue. Right. Read it over, Matthew 101. For mm -hmm. sure. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Right. Verse the, two. The, oh, did I said you right. Yeah. The son of David. Right. The son of David was um Christ was um King Solomon. Right. The son of um where is it again? Abraham, mm -hmm. which was Isaac. Right. Also, when you read in the book of Romans, Christ was Adam. Mm -hmm. So Christ was Adam. He was King Solomon, and he was Isaac. Right. Yeah. So and that is who Christ was was before he became Jesus Christ. Right. Mm -hmm. So he was Adam. Then he was King Solomon. Then he come back on youth again as Isaac. Then he came back again as Jesus Christ. Right. Right? That's why I say that. And when I read the book of Romans, mm -hmm. I think it's chapter 5, mm -hmm. it actually tells us that Jesus Christ, he was Adam. Mm -hmm. Right? Jesus Christ even said um, in the book of Matthew that Elijah, right, which is Elias, Elias in the New Testament, right, which is Elijah in the Old Testament, the same person. Elias, mm -hmm. Elias and Elijah is the same person. Right. Christ said in, in um, the book of Matthew that Elijah is John the Baptist in the reincarnation. That's right. Right? And then John the Baptist now, um, when you read in the book of John chapter 1, mm -hmm. John the Baptist said, no, I am not Elijah. Mm -hmm. You know why John the Baptist said, no, he's not Elijah? Mm -hmm. Imagine Jesus Christ saying John the Baptist is Elijah. Mm -hmm. John the Baptist saying, 
no, he's not Elijah. Mm -hmm. You know why John the Baptist is saying that? Mm -hmm. No, he's not Elijah. It's right. because when you read the Bible in Ecclesiastes, give me Ecclesiastes 1 and 11. Okay. The book of Ecclesiastes well, chapter mm -hmm. 1 verse 11. There is no remembrance of former things. There is no remembrance of former things. Mm -hmm. So if I die today and I reincarnate, when, whenever the Lord want to reincarnate me, if it's tomorrow, if it's next two years, whenever the Lord want to reincarnate me, mm -hmm. I will not remember who I was in my past life. Mm -hmm. That is why John the Baptist said, no, I am not Elijah. Right. You understand? Um, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 1, yeah, Jeremiah 1, 5. Come on, come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 and verse 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Right, so um, the Lord is talking to the prophet Jeremiah. So the Lord is saying, before I formed you in, in the belly, meaning in his mother's womb, mm -hmm. right? And, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee. Right. So, so bef before John the Baptist was in his mother's womb, mm -hmm. the Lord said, I knew you. Mm -hmm. I'm continuing from there. Right. And, be and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctify thee. Right. And, and before he was born, he sanctified him. Mm -hmm. So the Lord saying, hey, before he was formed in your mother belly, mm -hmm. I knew you. Mm -hmm. Why did the Lord say that? Because reincarnation exists. The prophet Jeremiah was here already on the earth. Mm -hmm. That is why he could say, I knew you. Mm -hmm. Before he was in your mother belly. All right, give me the one in Psalms and John 4. Come on, come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 104 and verse 29. Mm -hmm. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Mm -hmm. Thou takest away their breath, they die, right. and they turn to their dust. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, meaning we die, right? So, the Lord take our, away we breath and we die. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest. The face of the earth. Right. So the Lord take it away our breath, we die, and mm -hmm. then He send forth our spirit mm -hmm. and we renew us the face of the earth. Right. Right. When it die, it does come back again in a baby form. Right. Right. It does. Right. We doesn't. We don't have time to go in it. But when um when there was asking Christ in the Bible, um, if she she dies, she's mm -hmm. supposed to go on to um her her um, her brother. Mm -hmm. Right, and she had the man had seven brothers. Mm -hmm. So Christ saying, if she goes on to the seven brothers and all seven of them die in the reincarnation, who is she supposed to go on to? Mm -hmm. You understand? But they don't understand that when they die, it does come back in a baby form. Right. As well as it doesn't necessarily mean you will come back as um, who Aisha Wells, or you won't come back as um, David right. Muhammad. Right. You you will come back as, as somebody else, but it in, is your same spirit. Right. Right, they won't be born in the same um what, the same lineage of people, mm -hmm. but it's the same spirit you'll be born in. Right, right. Um, give me the, the next one. Is it? Yeah, um, John nine. John nine, nine and, and one. One. Book of John chapter nine and verse one. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Right. So this man was blind from birth. Go ahead. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents? That right. he was born blind. Right. So why this why did these disciples even ask Christ that question? Is because the disciples knew of reincarnation. So the disciples say, hey, Master, did this um person here he born blind from birth? Who sinned? Did he sin mm. that he was born blind? Or did his parents sin mm -hmm. that he was born blind? Because when they read the Bible, the sins of the parents has fallen on the children. Mm -hmm. Right? And also to you. As a child, you poor you wasn't in your past life. If you was a sinner, mm -hmm. you used to sell drugs, you was a murderer, you was a drug dealer, mm -hmm. you was some corrupt politician, mm -hmm. you will be faced the judgment, which is being born blind, being born, um, you, you yep. can't see, mm -hmm. you, you're born with, with hypertension, cancer, diabetes, AIDS. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that the Lord has make you born, which mm -hmm. is hell, a bad condition. Right. Right? Um, History? Yeah, go ahead. Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God shall be made manifest in him. Right? So Christ said, Nah, that, nah. Christ said, Nah. This time, nah. Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't happen that way. The Lord just made him one blind so that people could see the works that mm -hmm. I did right. to heal him, to heal this man. Right. Right? That's what Christ is, I'm telling them. Mm -hmm. Right? So give me one. Exodus so chapter 4 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto him, Who hath made man's mouth? Or who maketh the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind, have not I the Lord? Right. So, so again, that's just what I just explained. The Lord said he created the dumb, the blind, the deaf. The Lord said that. 
Why? Because when you sin against the Lord and you die, when you come back on the earth, you could be put in hell. Mm -hmm. Hell again is a bad condition. Any, any, um, right? So, hell again is just a bad condition. Um, mm -hmm. everybody. That's just what it is. You understand? Know, okay. Again, you have a lot of black people who filling up that prison system and they're innocent. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, I mean, I, I, I just always say, the fine way is to lock up black people in, in prison for marijuana. Mm -hmm. But when, um, I think it was Kamala, right. she had um, defined marijuana in she premises right. and she found some loophole mm -hmm. to come out of that. Nobody can um, lock up. Mm. You understand? Know, Nobody can touch Kamala. Mm. She found a loophole to come out of it. Mm -hmm. You understand? But if that house was somehow in Silots or Beatum, everybody mm -hmm. get locked up That's it. in your house. Because why? Black man, you in hell. Correct. No matter how rich he is, you in hell. Right. You understand? And our nation, the only way for our nation to come out of this hell that we in, mm -hmm. to come out of this poverty, or that again, okay, so we have some PP. questions. Right? right. Mm -hmm. right. Carlene is asking, so is it all black people? Because last week on your program, you said that all black people are not Israelites. So is it mm -hmm. Israelites that are in hell, or is it all black people? I, Israelites. When I, when I say it's black people, black people is Israelites. Mm -hmm. Africans not black. Right. When, I, when I say black, when I, say I, don't, I doesn't black. mean skin complexion. Because when I say black, you think in skin complexion. Okay, so when you read that. the Bible, black, was, black just means a bad condition that the Israelites was in. Right. Okay, it just so means a bad condition. Not all black in. people are in hell, just the Israelites. Just the Israelites. Okay. The Israelites alone is black people. Because mm -hmm. we in suffering. Yeah, people might say the Chinese suffering or the East Indian suffering in what is called a Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. But right. when you look at the suffering compared to, to, to our suffering, right. who is the one that all of fear really need help? Right. Us black people, the Israelites are king of the slave ship. For sure. Right. The Chinese have association. If they mm -hmm. somebody that how much how much Chinese seen on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. All of that. And then again he could still take a shower somewhere and they will find a position for him to earn an income. Someone is asking people. you will to explain the suffering that's happening in Africa on the continent. If they are not Israelites, well, well again, if I may, because that is, is a, between tribes and tribes, they have they have a seat in the UN. Uganda have a seat, South Sudan have a seat, and all mm -hmm. of that. But black people don't have a seat, mm -hmm. right? So that now comes uh, with greed within each other, as opposed to what is face black people. Because if somebody come and murder somebody from South Sudan today, you'll feel a big uproar on it. About us, we don't get that. I right, don't mm -hmm. put this up in our communities and nobody's get charged for it. Neither do the, the sons get sentenced, get carried away. I mean, carried out to somebody. See, this is the example to not to do to black people, mm -hmm. as opposed to somebody in South Sudan. Yeah. And, and of course, those Africans deserve to be suffering right now, what right. they're going through right now, because what it did to black people in That's slavery, right. mm -hmm. they sold us. The Africans knew that we was not Africans. They knew that we was Israelites. Right. That's what they just call us, Akata. Mm -hmm. Akata means what? Cotton picker. Mm -hmm. They knew that we are not um, Africans. Right. That's why they call us a kata. You understand? So the Lord is making those Africans suffer right now. And I pray, thank the Lord that right. those Africans is suffering. Right. They deserve that for what they put us through slavery. Right. You understand? Because the same reason Africans were alright. Slavery was abolished. Right? Is they never took the, the whole troops. Mm -hmm. All those different, I think it might be over 50 different countries in Africa. Why they all the 50 different countries in Africa don't come across to Trinidad or America right. and say, come back home or, you know, um, there are fight off African the white countries. man. There are some African countries that are giving land for repatriation purposes. I know some is happening in Ethiopia as well as Ghana, that mm -hmm. they are telling blacks in the West that they can come back and they can get into or be enlisted into their program mm -hmm. and get land to build if mm -hmm. they choose to. Mm, yeah, well, well, to tell you honestly, they could keep that land. You yeah. understand? I, our homeland mm. is in Israel. That's right. That is our homeland. We don't want that land in Africa. Mm. But very soon we will, we will be over there um, to take over not just the land in Africa, but the, the land in China, mm -hmm. the land in um, where again? Australia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When World War Three is coming, and World War Three is coming very soon, mm -hmm. if you all actually know what is going to take place in World War Three, you're, you're going to just um, say, you know what? They will just give um, black people everything we are right now. Correct. If all of them know the kind of destruction that is going to come in World War III, mm -hmm. when World War III comes, Christ is going to return. Right. You know, so when Christ returns, he's going to destroy all those wicked inventions, mm -hmm. and we is going to take over the earth. Right. So you're going you're to hold on to the land now, because very soon we are coming to take it over. Mm -hmm. All the Israelites with Christ and all the, the angels, we're going to take it over very soon. Mm-hmm. 
You understand? So don't don't mama guy us and tell us you all right. could come now and take that now. We, we don't want a mama gives them. Correct. We're going to come and take it by force. That's it. That is just how the Lord wants it. Right. I might not want it so, but that is how the Lord wants it. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say he that leadeth into captivity right. shall go into captivity. Correct. So we're going to have every single race in slavery right. when Jesus Christ returns. That's right. That is prophecies in the Bible. Correct. I might not want it, but that is how the Lord wants it. Right. And if the Lord wants it so, so be it. So be it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you are going to say For sure. Mm -hmm. Because people, you know, I mean, it's so easy, you know, to appease all the pain and suffering, you know, that, that to try to minimize it to some, you know, some program that they're running. And then again, who is who's the people they're inviting? All the people could actually come across there. Somebody from the ghetto can't afford to go across there is only ludicrous and them who you see advertised right. as the big, you know, the big players could support that movement like that, could sustain themselves over there like that. Mm -hmm. But it don't make sense you're trying to give me, you know, a little piece of my empire of my goods, right, that you that you took, that you stole and put my mother, sister and all of that subject to rape and there all of that. Locals in. Here, true, right. mm -hmm. There are locals here through mm -hmm. the 12 tribe of Israel, the Rastafarians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm who are regular people who are repatriating. They're going to Ethiopia and other places uh -huh. and being given an opportunity to set up. We have right. a call on the line. Call on your line. Sorry, sorry, sorry about the feedback. Sorry. Um, good afternoon, Aisha, again. I just wanted to um, see brothers there. You know, I have a problem with what we just term suffering and how and how we, um, how to put it, but how we format it and how we look at what you would just call suffering, for instance, blind, deaf, crippled, dumb. Brother, you know, what I have a problem with is that all, most of you, and you included, all of the religions, seek to, seems, seems, seek to put blessings as materialism and as um, things that to be gotten on earth, totally leaving out the other existential existence for instance, when you close your eyes, that's the spirit world. But I, I, I can't deal with how everything about God, everything about spirituality, zero back in into materialism, which is a, which is an illusion. You know, if, if, if you're getting to the depths of spirituality, and I think that's one of the biggest deceptions that we had a fight against in the earth. I am so not interested in what you are speaking about but we're going to enslave people and all this other nonsense about, you know, you have to have this and you have to have that. What about the spirit? What about the spirit world, brother? I fed up with these religions misleading people into thinking that things on earth is what you have to aspire for. That is what I just have a problem with. And I think, you know, it's very misleading to totally say that to be crippled or blind is, 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 a, um, is a disadvantage. Anything you lack in body, your spirit does full up the space. It's just you have to psychologically tune yourself to your spirit. We are immortal beings. And all this materialism and thing that you pers that all you're talking about, and we go on this, and we go on that land there, and we want that specific land there. What about that, boy? What about the spirit world? What about Thank you, Paula. We just have a minute. Higher? Allow them to respond to you. We just have a minute to go. A minute, okay. Uh, and so far, I can respond a minute. Um, okay, there's a scripture that says, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth mm -hmm. as it is in heaven. Right. Right? Heaven is a condition right here on earth. Mm -hmm. Just like how the white man had us in slavery and he built his heaven and he could control the earth. Mm -hmm. We go and have the other races in slavery and we go and build right. our kingdom of heaven so right here on earth. And also there's celestial beings and celestial beings. Right. We is not angels. Right. Let the angels and them have their glory. We have our glory right here on earth. Correct. 20 seconds. Right, which is land, money, rulership. Right. For sure, because everybody does like to talk about that spiritual aspect of it. Right? But the Lord created with our body for mm -hmm. a function. Ten so seconds. So when they're not supposed to, when they're not operating as they're supposed to, it's something definitely wrong. And that is, the, that is why this the so called person is sleeping all the only badness they just do because you're not going to hold them accountable. Well, um, the Israelite School of Universal Practical <laughs> Knowledge on the commanding General Yahana. We'll be on the street, 91.9 FM, every Monday from 5 p.m., bringing you the truth according to the Bible. The ICBK is a non-profit faith-based community organization that will respond to the plagues that's affecting blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We also have programs such as education, both adult and youth, prison programs, food distribution, rehabilitation, drug and alcohol. Remember, tune in every Monday on 91.9 FM, 5 p.m. Shalom. Shalom.